I am Ken Gass, a pediatrician. I practiced for 35 years in Bellingham. In the practice of pediatrics, actually, my focus has been on the support of families and uh, family engagement and um, helping families raise healthy children. So that was a big deal to me. And after I put down my stethoscope and I'm no longer clinically practicing, uh, patient advocacy for families and their children has been the biggest part of my community activity. I, I learned in my practice that certainly families can take all kinds of forms. And because of that, it was important to get out into the community and support those organizations that support families. We have so much richness here in, in Whatcom County as far as the, uh, the skills and the of professionals and educators uh, and, and our environment, but they're not equitably um, distributed. And we have to look, look at that and ask, ask why. I would hope that would be my legacy that I just supported moving that the work of equity and in providing resources when, uh, when it matters most to uh, the people of Whatcom County. In many ways, I have seen Ken Gass as being the heart and soul of children and families in Whatcom County. And that is one of the areas of focus for Mount Baker Foundation. So Ken has had an amazing career as a pediatrician and as a leader in childhood development. He, there's, there's a favorite quote I have from Ken, and that is that the stress on the parents is stress on the children. And that means that if the parents are worried about putting food on the table, worried about childcare, worried about whether they can pay rent next month, that all results in stress on the child and an impact on the children's health and their development. Another thing about Ken is that he has a really strong focus on diversity, equity, and inclusion, and he's a driver for us in that way. And he brings his heart to that work. Um, I would say he's led by his heart, and he really seeks to understand different perspectives um, because we do have a diverse community and every family, every child is unique. And so how do we, how do we work with them and build that foundational um, sense of security for a family in which the child will really excel? Dr. Gass has built um, credibility where when he speaks, people listen. The wisdom he has, and again, the knowledge of the community and the people and the history, and you know, he had his own profession of being a pediatrician, but my role with him was as the president of the school board, and he influenced so much about the district, the development of the Bellingham Promise, our strategic plan for the community that's now you know, really 13 year in the making, our focus on early childhood education, and we've become one of the leaders in the state and really nation around early childhood, and certainly his influence around the value of investing early influenced the districts, and it's, you know, in my opinion, one of the most functional school boards I've ever seen, in part because of the foundational work that he helped the school board is a you know volunteer service and he was on the school board for 17 years so he really modeled service to community in a lot of ways that i think is just a great role model for many of us in terms of you get a lot from your community but how do you make sure you're giving back to it i don't know if you could really articulate all the ways he's impacted this community it's deep and wide my upbringing was a huge part of who i was uh, and it was that that privilege that i became aware of that drove me to want to provide the best support for children through supporting their, their families. And that's kind of driven me. What services do families need to raise healthy children? And through various experiences, whether it's as a school board member or as a pediatrician, I realized that a child's innate ability has so little to do with the genes that you're born with, but how you are raised in the environment you're exposed to. And that every child, every child has a gift and a talent that just has to be brought out. If that talent is, is supported from birth on, it, it's going to flourish. 